Hello there. I'm happy that you joined me to learn about the primeval history of the Bible. Let's open up the Bible and see what it says. In the beginning, there was nothing but darkness and void. But then God spoke, let there be light. And there was light. This was the first day of creation. Over the course of six days, God continued to create the heavens and the earth on the second day, God separated the waters from the waters below. On the third day, he created the land, seas, and vegetation. On the fourth day, God placed the sun, moon, and stars in the sky. On the fifth day, he created the fish of the sea and the birds of the air. On the sixth day, God created the land animals and, as the pinnacle of his creation, he made humanity in his own image. On the seventh day, God rested and saw that all of his creations were very good. In other words, the universe, the world, and everything in it was perfect. That perfect state did not last though. Now let's continue. God placed Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, where they lived in harmony with nature and with him. However, they were tempted by the serpent to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, rebelling against God, thereby introducing sin into the world. Adam and Eve's disobedience led not only to their expulsion from Eden, but to pain, suffering, and death. What does this tell us about the nature of man? Adam's sin not only introduced sin and death into the world, but all his offspring, all mankind inherited his sin nature. We sin not only because we want to, sin is a part of our very nature. The increasing influence of sin is il illustrated by the first two children of Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel. Both brothers offered sacrifices to God from the fruits of their labor. Abel's sacrifice to God was found acceptable by him. Cain's sacrifice was not. Cain was furious by God's rejection. Instead of acting in humility, in contrition, asking for God's mercy and forgiveness, Cain reacted with envy, jealousy, and rage towards his brother. This led to the first murder in human history and sin spread more quickly than any virus, corrupting all mankind. The next biblical narrative is that of Noah and his ark. Let's continue. God, saddened by the wickedness of humanity, decided to send a great flood to cleanse the earth. Noah, who was a godly man, was chosen by God to build an ark to save mankind and two of every kind of animal from his upcoming judgment, the worldwide flood. After the flood had receded, God made a covenant with Noah, promising never to destroy the earth again with water. The flood account is the first of many biblical examples of God's mercy. He is a God of justice, but also a God of love. He always provides a means of salvation to those who submit themselves to him. Now let's see what happens next. As the descendants of Noah multiplied, they came together to build a great tower that reached the heavens, the Tower of Babel. In their pride and hubris, mankind intended to bypass God and create their own way into heaven. In response, God confused their languages, causing them to scatter across the earth. And with that, this Bible study of primeval history concludes. There's so much more to learn in future installments, so make sure you subscribe in order to be updated when our next Bible study drops.